This is the Siri 35mm 1.33x anamorphic lens. Probably one of the most popular budget anamorphic lenses for the past couple of years. But if that's the case, why would I make yet another video about it? Well, I'm just setting up a camera backpack for traveling with my red Komodo that contains everything I need to produce banger videos on the fly. I'd love to include something that gives me the anamorphic look, but taking my Vazen 40mm doesn't really make a hell out of sense, as I can literally pack three other lenses instead. So that's where Siri comes in, with a lens that's less than half the size and weight of the Vazen. Also, if Siri asks you to review one of the lenses, how can you possibly say no? So I packed my backpack and headed out to a one day trip to test out the lens and see how it compares with some of its alternatives. First I met up with some friends and we put the Komodo and the Siri on a gimbal, which was unsurprisingly easy given to the compact form factor. Shout out to Kiel who gave us a very spontaneous performance of his latest song. If you want to watch the full version of Kel's performance shot on the Red Komodo and the Zero 35mm, follow the link in the description. Watching back the footage, I immediately noticed how sharp and clean this lens is, which for anamorphic glass is quite unusual. Compared to the Vazen, it really gets obvious how little the anamorphic look is even present when it comes to the bokeh. It shouldn't come as a surprise as I'm comparing a 1.33x squeeze with a 1.8x squeeze, but still. I wouldn't mind a bit more character in form of sharpness falloff or chromatic aberration towards the edges. And don't get me wrong, it's amazing that Siri was able to make a cheap anamorphic lens so clean, but personally, a clean image isn't exactly why I'm choosing to shoot anamorphic. I mean, even the Helios 442, which is a spherical lens, almost gives me more anamorphic character. But yeah, let's talk about the focus. Focusing with this lens brings some interesting challenges. While the 35mm looks like a photo lens, it does come with some detachable gearings, but I still feel like this lens is more suited for single operators, which is a plus point for me when it comes to traveling. Something I was pretty concerned of is the squeeze factor change depending on where you set your focus. But that quickly became less of a concern in my real world testings, as you really don't see it in most scenarios. However, this lens does suffer from quite heavy focus breathing and on the Komodo, if you set your focus to infinity, you can see a vignette caused by the square opening in the front, even at f1.8. Minimum focus isn't that great, but about the same as in the Vazen. Alright, I know what you've been waiting for. Let's talk about the flares. I really like the tealish color of the flares, probably even more than the darker blue flares of the Vazen, but I do think it's a bit too sensitive to flare. And I don't even mean these flares, I mean these ones that stretch over the whole image and really look unwanted. Because in most cases they are unwanted. But I guess this is all a question of preferences. You ain't nothing but the blues now, and you won't let me be, blame it on me. So, the Siri 35mm 1.33x anamorphic. It most certainly is a nice piece of glass, and for anyone wanting to break into the anamorphic world without blowing the budget, it would definitely be a solid starting point. Personally, I'd just love for it to have a bit more character. It kind of feels like a modern anamorphic version of the Helios 442, but with a Sigma sharpness. So I guess it would pair nicely with the Sigma 18 to 35. Well, let's just put it in there for now. Bye. Jetzt äh, zehn, zwölf Jahre, glaube ich. Ja.